Well, good morning from uh, Canebrake Pool, just south of Busselton. Um, left home about, I don't know, eight o'clock, half past eight this morning. Come down through some back roads to Busselton. Um, morning coffee there, and then uh, hit some, some dirt roads out of Busselton down into the back of Canebrake here. Uh, and then uh, this afternoon we're heading for Pemberton. Yes. Bit dry. We were really hoping to do a bit of wild camping, but with uh, not having had any rain yet, there's a bit of dust. There's not a lot of water, so we've actually booked into a caravan park for the night. At least we get a bit of grass. But we've got a whole lot of trails between here and Pemberton yeah. to check out. Yep. So uh, we'll uh, we'll put the cameras on the bike now and uh, see what we can uh, see what we can get for the day um, and uh, come along for the ride. There is quite a nice little swimming hole here at Canebrake Pool. It's a campground as well, or campsite. A um, little bit of water here, it's still quite clear, but you can see it's quite low. Good back there? Yeah, just adjusting. Just adjusting. Alright, here we are, just about to pull out of, uh, out of Canebrake Pool. Just been uh, stopped here for a couple of minutes. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go and tackle a nice little uh, off-road section. <laughs> Takes us from here down to Moen Road. Follows uh, Margaret, Margaret River, River, which comes out the bottom of the pool here and heads down that way. So, yeah, it should be interesting. Let's do this. Not going straight ahead. <laughs> Yeah, no, probably not ready to tackle that just yet. Not with these tyres. <laughs> So far, bike is impressing. Even with these road bias tyres on and this sand, it's yeah, not at all what I expected it would be. I think it's just the balance of the bike and the weight.
it being this sandy. No, we probably don't come through it at this time of year normally. Well, mm. it's normally a bit wetter. Yeah. The bit that's the most sandy. Right before the road. Not too bad. Red tails. Oh, big red tail cockies. Very nice. Very noisy. Noisy, alright. wasn't too bad. Pretty happy with that. There we go, Mowen Road. Runs between uh, Nanup and Margaret River. All roads lead to Nanup. In the southwest. <laughs> Feels like that anyway. <laughs> Well, here we are, come down Great North Road. A couple of, uh, couple of hairy, scary moments with the front wheel. Probably, uh, probably found the limitations of that uh, stock tyre, I think, in the gravel. <laughs> but uh, just coming up onto uh, Denny Road, and then we're gonna drop down into the causeway down here across the Blackwood River. rugged old intersection this it's one always rough Denny Road can get pretty bad too yeah There we are. Causeway crossing on the Blackwood River. I might need a photo. Okay. <laughs> Let's do that. You good? Yeah. Let's just have a quick walk around the bike. What have we got? We've got all the bags on today. We've got uh, both sets of panniers and the uh, the Lone Rider top bag with all our camp gear in it. Uh, picked up a new giant loop tank bag because uh, the Moscow Moto, the shape just doesn't really conform to that shape of tank. So, yeah. Um, yeah, so I think we've uh, probably found the limitations of that tyre. <laughs> uh, could probably let a bit of air out of it, might help, but uh, yeah, nice spot here down on the Blackwood River. At least there's uh, still a bit of water flowing. Yeah, I've been here in times when there's probably been uh, water halfway up the wheel, I suppose. Mm. But uh, the only thing with this one you've got to watch is the, the amount of flow. Uh, obviously the bottom's good, nice concrete bottom, but this can flow f pretty fast at times. We've come down to here in a four-wheel drive and not driven across because of the flow. Mm. Another nice little bush trail. This one's going to bring us out onto uh, the Brockman Highway. <coughs> uh, this is actually part of the, um, the solo ride that I did. Um, 
So we're gonna we're gonna retrace some of that today. Sort of from here on for a little bit. And then tomorrow's route's just a real uh, a Stitch. real mix up of different trails that we've done over the years. So uh, that should be interesting. <laughs> Basically just found a series of back roads between places. Yeah. Yeah, mo actually most of tomorrow will be either dirt, just dirt roads or uh, sealed roads. Nothing too, nothing too heavy. Uh, I think we can see the importance already, although, you know, I did say earlier the tyres are have handled pretty well, especially in the sand. I've pretty, been pretty impressed with that, but yep. um, this sort of terrain is not too bad, but as soon as you get out onto a gravel road, it's sort of got a heavy sort of layer of gravel in it. She's, uh, yeah, they're pretty terrible on the, on the front. Anyhow, the back doesn't feel too bad. So, probably going to have to do a, at least a front tyre a bit pretty sooner quick. than we were anticipating. Uh, if we're going to keep, you know, wanting to get out and do these trails straight away. I don't think I've squealed yet. No squealing. That's usually a pretty good sign. What was that? That's usually a pretty good sign. <laughs> when I start squealing, it's got hairy. Very cool, some of these where you just skirt the farmland. Yeah. Out to the highway. Ah, oh, traffic hazard. That would be for the causeway. Mm. If they have enough rain, you get all the way in there and you can't get across. True. There we are, just getting down into the bottom end of uh, Pneumonia Road. Coming down into. Um, uh, where we've just crossed into Don de Castro National Park, so nice spot, eh? It's really pretty. There's quite a nice skyline behind us with uh, almost a few hills, um, but coming out towards the coast, it's pretty flat. The road's at least got a few more twists in it than the previous couple. Yeah, we've been on pretty straight roads for the last, well, probably half hour, 45 Behind. minutes. Yep. Yeah, so nice to get a few twists and turns. A bit more gravel on these roads again too. Mm. Which is not ideal but it's alright, we manage. Yeah. How much water's here now? A little bit. Water crossing done. First water crossing done. That wasn't too dramatic. Not at all. Oh, time for a drink. Yep. And just like that, we're in the Tall Timbers. Such a great place. Pretty much cross the highway and straight into the big carries. It's yeah, just we're stunning. Just, um, we're literally out the back of uh, Beetle Up, aren't we? Yes. Yep. It's... Um, off to our right hand side here. That was a big rock. <laughs> too busy looking at the avenue of trees. Too, I was too busy looking at the trees, yes. Yeah. That's my and just, job. And just how far up the temperatures dropped down like probably four or five degrees mm -hmm. from what it was. It's clouded over, it's lovely.
yeah, just come around that corner into the avenue and it was just stunning. Rolling through the big carry forests. Beautiful day for it. This is part of the Carry Explorer route, is that right? I think this is, yeah. Yeah. Been a couple of like stopping points for big trees. Yep. And this is going to take us up along to um, Big Brook Dam. Hmm. We'll stop there and have a bit of a look and see. Didn't stop there last time I come through. There we are, Big Brook Dam. There's a nice little breeze here too. Great spot. Pretty. Yep. Sandy beach. Not sure I'd go for a swim though. Just coming into the backside of Pemberton from Big Brook Dam. Kangaroos out in the paddock there. Yeah. It's been a nice little ride. Well, we've done about 245, 250 k's. Yeah, we were both just commenting we're a little fatigued, and I think probably just from the extra concentration with the with the front wheel on the gravel roads has uh, yeah definitely definitely got me a little tired today. Mind you, we haven't really been out on a bike much either. No, we haven't done a lot of bike shows. Doesn't help. We're definitely overdue for a camp night anyway. Yeah. Here we go, Pemberton. Pemberton Caravan Park. Just going to pull in here for the night and pitch a tent and uh, that'll, that'll be us. Been a good day, a couple of hundred k's to 250. So yeah, nice. A few spots of rain actually, which uh, I don't think it's going to come to much, but we'll go and get our... Uh, Gonna get our tent set up and uh, a couple of cool drinks into us. So. Well, we hoped for grass. We've got sand. We've got a little bit. I reckon flattest area. Just here. Just huh? here, yeah. And uh, in here, all the camp gear. We've got a new tent to test out, so we'll get to and get camp set up. I suppose I should put the camera down, hey? Can you do the camp run? <laughs> Ta-da! We have a tent. Two and a half minutes later. <laughs> New tent. It is wicked good to put up. Uh, we le did leave the other one in New Zealand, so we had to <laughs> get one when we got back here and have found this. It's a, I think it's supposed to be a three-man. Uh, marmot. Marmot. It, uh, what's it called? A limelight. This is an older model of it, so it's just got a square interior. I think the new ones have got more shape at one end, so they've got a bit of a flare up, but fits our sleeping mats in it and should be able to still fit clothes and bits. It's got a really good vestibule on both sides, so somewhere to put bike gear. Uh, so as we pulled into Pemberton, it started raining very light, and the cloud is definitely hanging around but I don't think we're going to get much rain. Nice view out behind us at the caravan park. We're tucked in the back corner out looking on the bush so should be a good night.